In this video we're going to show you how to install the EDD2 software, uh, but first we're going to go over a few system requirements. So if you go to your start bar and go to computer, right click it and go to properties, you're going to need one gigabyte of memory at least and a 32-bit operating system. This can be Windows XP, Vista, or 7, just needs to be a 32-bit operating system. You're also going to need a separate partition for your storage and for your operating system. So I have partition C with uh, 25 gigs of space. So we're going to go ahead and uh, allocate the other half of our drive. So if you go to your start bar, computer, right click it and go to manage. And then go to disk management there on the left. You're going to see this. And you should, I have one hard drive with the partition for C, and the rest is unallocated empty space. So I'm going to right click it and go to new simple volume. The wizard will pop up. You're just going to hit next on the first screen. It's going to ask you how big you want your volume. It defaults to the biggest possible size you can have. So we're going to go ahead and press next. Um, it's going to ask you for the letter you want. I'm going to stick with E and it's going to ask you what you want to name it, what file system, and the allocation size. Uh, you want to do it at, in, you want to set it for NTFS, you want to leave the allocation unit size at default. Uh, you can label it whatever you want, but for the purposes of the video I'm going to label it storage, and you're going to, going to want to check mark perform a quick format, or else you're going to be waiting for it to format for a long time. You're going to hit next, it's going to summarize what you just did, and you're going to hit finish and after you f hit finish it's going to format, you see it formatting, and there it is, E, our storage drive. Awesome. Okay, You're also going to want to make sure you have the ED2 software on the computer downloaded or on, off the CD. We're going to go ahead and start and find it. Mine's in my documents right there. Okay, go ahead and open it up and you're going to see uh, this stuff in the first folder. You're going to want to go ahead and go to DVR and setup and this part is very important uh, you're going to right click setup and go or and hit run as administrator if you don't do that you'll get errors when you install it and it won't install correctly so you have to right click it run as administrator okay and then it's going to start the wizard I'm just going to show you guys real quick the drivers for the card so if you go to start bar computer and go to manage again going to show you. And if you go to device manager, you're going to see the four drivers. I have a 16 channel card in here, so you're going to see one driver per every four channels. So if I had a 32 channel system, I would have eight of these. If I had an eight channel system, I would only have two of these. And a 24 channel system, I would have six of these. So we're going to go ahead and exit out of there. You're going to, we're going to go hit next on the wizard. Uh, you want to make sure NTSC is selected if you're in the North uh, America region or unless you know you need PAL. Uh, but you should leave it default at NTSC if you don't know which is which. Go ahead and click Next. And it's going to install the driver. And it should alert you about um, installing non-digitally signed drivers. It'll do it here for us in a second you want to go ahead and prompt install anyway. We should see it here in a couple of seconds. This is unfortunately the longest part of the <laughs> installation. Huh. Oh, there it is. You go you uh, it'll prompt you somewhat like this if you're running uh, Vista or Windows 7 and you want to click install this driver software anyway, right there. And it's going to work. You see the little circle moving around right there? And 
again for the other set of drivers. And here we go. Okay, so it's going to ask you where you want to install the software. Or, uh, just leave it at default and click next. Uh, click next again and it's going to install. You can go ahead and exit out of your windows too. And it's going to prompt you to restart. Uh, this is the end of part one. Um, make sure to watch part two to learn how to configure your DVR software after you install it.